probably seen me do this in another video. Circle B. I'm going to slice these bad boys in the middle and fry them up. And then I got a regular little half a pack of sausage. I had a uh, country style sausage. Patted them together. And can't forget the burnt bologna, you know. My kids love burnt bologna, so I'm doing burnt bologna. <laughs> I don't really need no oil because you got your oil in these. So this is how I did them. I have them. Slice them in half. So I came out. Once I have them, I ended up with eight sausages. Slices. Of course, y'all know it's five of us. I have four children. And some kind of way, I'm going to slide these uh Patty sausages in them. They should fit. So we're gonna make we're gonna make this work, you know. We're gonna make it work. Wish I had some spinach to go on my eggs, but I don't have any. So we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna do five patties. One patty for each of us. <laughs> so you got plenty of them sausages. That's a patty. I like hot patties, but these are mild, so they'll do. They'll do for right now. Okay. Rice is almost done. Alright, I'll put the other three sausages in with the bologna. <laughs> um, I might put some, uh, I'm going to put a little oil in this pot. I like my um, sausage to be. Yeah, it ain't knowing what it's supposed to be done. We're going to put a little oil on because it's right down here. Then you got it up a little high. Can't never stir your rice, you know. You'll mess it up every time. So never stir your rice. <laughs> so I'm about to whip up these eggs. And I'm going to do some um, cinnamon um some cinnamon uh what was I doing? Some cinnamon bagels that I had. So I'll show y'all what they looking like. They got raisins and stuff in them. So they're real good. Uh eat them often. My kids don't really eat them but I do. So they, they may eat them today. <laughs> they may eat them today. We're gonna toast them up and I'll show y'all me doing that. Put a little butter on them. So y'all can see that as well. There go my bologna. Turned out to have a uh, what? That's that three. That's that four. So we got 14 slices. 14 slices of bologna. I cut it in half, so I had seven pieces <laughs> that I cut in half. We're not going to eat that much food, but my kids can eat so. I'm about to turn these sausages over. And we're going to get started on these eggs. This burnt. So, this ain't brown enough. That right there, not brown enough. So, we're going to put that back down. Now, these, it's good, but not all the way like I like it. <laughs> This is okay, but not what I'm going for. Some of them will get browner than others. It's not, not quite ready to go yet. They ain't quite ready yet. Patties, uh, you can flip these. Yeah, they can be flipped. They're not quite ready to go. Okay, the rice is almost done. I'm going to cover that rice up and turn it off. Okay. I'm going to add some butter to that rice. Show y'all how that looks. Once I do that. Yeah, all these ain't nowhere near <laughs> burnt now. Like, my kids like them burnt too. I ain't the only one. I'm going to cut that all the way up and high. It's going to crisp it in. And it's not ready to flip yet. So. This is 
is what I'm using like a, I guess you could say that's a half stick of brush. It's not really quite a half, but yeah. I'm going to go on put them three in there like that melts. So by the time I was, all this get done, we're going to put that in our pot already and let that melt down. And I'm going to put these eggs up. I may put some cheese on my eggs. I ain't for sure yet. Okay, I got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eggs. That's a love for me and my baby. So I'm cracking eight eggs right here. Sorry, I'm not showing a lot, y'all. It's just a little quick cooking video. <laughs> a little breakfast video, you know. Here's something. Something to give y'all, you know. I'll see how I do it in the morning, you know. I do it in the evening, do it in the morning. No matter what time of day. A minute. I'm going to melt my butter down. Okay, we're going to go and flip these sausages over. They ain't still quite burnt like I like them, but you know what? We're going to roll with the punches. We're going to go and roll with it. <laughs> I don't roll with it. Let them cook on this side. Okay. All right, for so these eggs, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. It's going in my eggs, black pepper. Uh, a tad bit of seasoning salt, just a little. And a little bit of regular salt. Y'all don't mind my big bowl. I didn't have a. <laughs> I gotta wash my dishes over here. I'll be cleaning as I go. Regular size. Bowl. Beat them. You know, the longer you beat the eggs, the lighter and fluffier they are. I'm gonna add a little milk in here. And it's gonna be done on that. Take these on out. I'm going to put these in my colander. I got a napkin over here, so I'm going to set them on the napkin. I'm going to take these on out. They did their thing. They ain't dark as I would like them, but they did their thing. I'm going to let them sausages like that brown a little more. They ain't what I want them to be. Okay. There go our sausages. The link sausages. These are Circle B smoked sausages, Mississippi sausages. You hear me? I don't know if they made them. I'm gonna have to look that up and see if they made them in Mississippi. But this, this the sausages we eat in Mississippi. My sister bought me some uh, when they came the other day. She bought me some Circle B smoked sausage. This is my favorite sausage. And this is my last pack right here. So this was all I had left. So I'm about to enjoy these little sausages. <laughs> all right, now we're gonna go in with our. Uh, our other little small three sausages. And we also going to go in with some more, well, with some. Go a little closer, we're going to go in with some of this bologna. It's a kind of thick piece right there. They're not going to take long at all to cook. It's another Mississippi thing. I don't know if y'all eat burnt bologna, but this is how we was raised in Mississippi. <laughs> Type of cooking we, we used to eat right here. It's good. It's good cooking right here. We usually do the bread with the cheese on top. I ain't doing it today though, but my grandma, oh yeah. She would love to do us a cheese bread. <laughs> we'll have cheese bread with our breakfast. And normally grits, but I'm doing rice today. She loves grits, so rest in peace to my grandmother. She was one of the greatest cooks. And I got a lot of cooking from her. <laughs> a lot of my cooking comes from her. So. Alright. Got that going. Got that going. Mm. 
Well, see, this bologna not going to take long at all. Bologna take a few, few minutes. Depending on how thick and thin it is, you know. Let's kill it. Let that brown up a little more. Yeah, you don't want to burn it up too much. But, you know, this one right here is what I'm going for. That type of brown. And so this is a thicker piece. These pieces are thinner. So, I'm going to come on with it. Let's flip that sausage while we get it. So, I'm going to flip that sausage like it's doing something. I'm going to take these one more time on this side. Let them get all the way more. Let them see it's brown enough. Alright. And I guess, oh, we're going to go in and start on my eggs. Because I don't want to make this video too long. Like I'm already doing. Absolutely too long. Already. Got that. Don't flip that on. I'm going to get that one in there. That one down in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'll move this over here. Okay, we got that skillet hot already. So we're going in with our eggs. We're going on in with our eggs. Going on in with our eggs like so, you know. All right. Clean as a go, y'all. I told y'all that already. <laughs> so we just going to bring our eggs in on the side. This is how I do mine. So then we'll stick. This is a non-stick part. You can use any skillet. To be honest, I like to use cast iron skillet to so just get the eggs a bit flavor. So, we're gonna come on out with this. Uh, see that? That bologna is ready. We're gonna bring that on out the skillet. Bring that on out the skillet. And we're gonna get the rest of this bologna out. Right. In this back skillet. Two sausages, they done. Still got three more left in there. We're gonna take these on now. They ready. We're gonna just pull this from the wall. You don't want it to stick too much. You can, it's alright if it sticks. It just eggs. The eggs gonna cook anyway, so. And you wanna get the bottom of that pot there. Oh, thought that was off. I guess that's my son. Oh, it is, huh? Got a five on it and everything. So we just gonna put this in the front. I don't know what that bag is. <laughs> we're gonna put that in the front. We're gonna pull them eggs as we go. Now they don't know they won't flip these again. They ready? Now I got my uh, eye on high for these eggs. You don't have to cook your eggs as high as I cook mine. See, because right here I'm done. This is it right here for me. Go back in with the rest of our bologna. It's going to be it here. Once I finish this, I guess I'll... Toast up a bagel or, you know, see? Eggs, eggs look good, don't I? I know. Let me take it off that heat, though. Okay. Take it off that heat. Last for this. And, uh, Yes. 
I'll put the bagels on and I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. <laughs> so we done, y'all. We are done. I got the eggs right here. Looking so delish. Got that yellow butter white rice. <laughs> white rice. Butter rice. I got my three beets. I got my fried bologna, burnt bologna. Got my country sausage. And it's Circle B. You can't go wrong with Circle B smoked sausage. If you ever heard of them, never heard of them, please order you some online because they online. It's a Mississippi brand of sausage or they sold in Tennessee. Uh, I don't know exactly where it's made. I'll let y'all know. Well, I'll even put a link in the bottom. And that's my bagel. It's a cinnamon raisin bagel. And I'm about to put me some cream cheese on that. And that's how I do it in the morning, y'all. Got your rice. Got your eggs. Got your meat. Can't go wrong. Thank y'all so much for watching today. And y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Thank y'all so much. Love you guys.